What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Mark Chinook, Marcel Garcia, Black Belt, Five Time World Champ, Big Us. Guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are already subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and you don't miss the newest video right there because there's a ton of details to help you grow your jiu-jitsu. And I do believe that you don't wanna miss out one of those good details that are gonna help you grow your jiu-jitsu faster, okay? So, uh, once again, the video for today, the last one for today is a request. A few people asking me how to do, uh, uh, how to maintain mount and then go from there, how to attack. So I separate you guys. A few uh, uh, scenarios when the person trap your legs and start escaping mount. So the best way to apply that is when you go for the S mount. So the S mount is when you like side mount, when you avoid the person from getting, from his for escape, put you in a half guard or things like that. So I'm gonna show you a few small details gonna keep you in mount longer, especially beginners that potentially that they wanna just use muscle just to push through it. It's not a good idea. Learn how to move. So this video is gonna help you stay longer in mount and don't lose, okay? Before we continue the lesson today, make sure you subscribe the channel, like the videos and comment below. I appreciate your support. Big awesome. The first one, we're gonna start right straight in mount, okay? So, things that I wanted to watch out. Basically, there's two ways, I would say, two ways that Matt can take him out of mount. Number one, the oop escape, the bridge. Okay, I'll, I'll put it that way. So, for example, if Matt trapped my arm, so from here, all he needs to do is, he's gonna bridge and go right there. That's number one thing, okay? So, number two, Number two thing that he can do also, move this way, and he mount, right? He can do the up escape, and then from here, he might put my hands on the mat a, a bit. Yes, now what he can do, get to the side and start trapping my foot in, exactly, and I'll bring my knee inside, and then he's getting ahead of the game, and then from there, he can put me in a half guard, and then put in a full guard. So, let's see a scenario, how to avoid the bump first, okay? So the bump here, when I add this if Matt go trap my arm on this side, right here, boom, he wanna bridge me that way. One of the few things that can help you stay on this mount, I do believe is the opposite side hook, okay? So it's very powerful, don't get me wrong, but if he doesn't do well with his bridge, you can stay longer, but sometimes it's hard to manage. So I think that I like to manage right here. He trapped my arm as tight as he can. Now opposite side foot, move this way, I'm gonna hook right there, okay? So now if Matt bridge, my hip is so attached to his hip that doesn't let him go far, okay? So that's how you stop it from a uh, 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 bump. But he gonna start finding a different way to escape, okay? So number one here to stay mount, he bridge, boom. Trap my arm, immediately I'm gonna start lean and get myself on the side. My hip slides to the side, boom. Because he wants to bridge that way, so bridge. So look, that's nothing. Come back to mount, okay? So three categories, lower mount, middle mount, and high mount, okay? So as we cover up the bridge, so now let's go into the uh, uh, when the person trapped me, on the, my, trapped my leg to go for the half guard. So, for example, I'm here on a, on a mount, and then Matt start. Even if I have cross face, doesn't matter. He goes right there, trap my foot, pull my knee in mount uh, in a half uh, half guard. So, if I let Matt bring the bottom leg out, I'm gonna end up right in a full guard. For example, if Matt take the bottom leg out, look. I was right mount, now I'm here, close guard. I don't wanna be here, I wanna go back to mount. It's okay, it's okay, it's not the end of the world if he traps my leg. So he trapped my leg in a half guard and I pull my knee all the way inside. All I need to do here is change my base. From here, I don't want space. I wanna go here, have it. I wanna change my base, okay? Now I'm gonna push his leg now bring my knee to mount, but I wanna bring my knee on the mat. I wanna go to a quarter mount and get this on the hook. When I get this on the hook, 
now Matt doesn't have an option to go another leg because his knee pointing that way. Now what I have to do is stay here with my free foot open, back to mount. Okay, so one more time. Matt go, trap, nice, perfect. Right away, I meet him with a cross face. Keep right here. Now push my knee out and then I'm going back to mount, getting this on the hook. Elbow up and then go mount, okay? So that way you always stay in the game, okay? So now let's go into a S mount position. So Invest in your Jiu-Jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each need. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts from the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you wanna check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait, invest in your jiu-jitsu today. We saw Matt trap my leg in a half guard, on my on the leg, right? Now, he know that he, he, I know that he needs to turn to the side to trap my leg because if his body's flat, try bring this leg, it's not gonna happen. He needs to turn the hip. As been said, every time he turned the hip first, I bring my foot up. That way, I avoid him from trapping on half guard. There's nothing on the leg here, okay? So as a drill, I like to grab the bottom leg, bring back. Now he's gonna go to the other side, and then bring him back. So move this way. So go on this side again. Here, I time, push. He goes to the other side, and then from here, so I put this drill to my student to get to know when a person moves and when I move, because that way you never know, oh, go on my left, go on my right. In a real scenario, you don't know which side they go, so you have to be prepared. So that's why I like to put this drill just to get the muscle memory. So basically, drill seen for myself, the drill is here. I cannot go to the S mount with my hands off the mat. Mount position, every time he faces that way, I distribute weight on my hand here as mount. So now I have weight here, weight here. Back down, and then I'm gonna go here. So on this angle, I'm here, there. So I go there. So it's a lot easier with weight on my arm. So back here, Matt. So from here, Matt gonna, yeah, he gonna trap this leg. I time. So now my weight is behind, my legs behind his shoulders. So now open up so many attacks. Number one attack, top arm. Grab it. Now open up my foot. Now I'm gonna pass my leg over. Sit. Readjust the grip. Finish the armbar. Okay? Because once you time that, your variety of options open up so much. So he goes again. I time, grab the top arm, lean into my foot, pass, grab it, on board. Attack number two from the S mount is from here. Let's go, let's switch side. He goes, I time. Now from here, I can open up. We went here. I can open up as I'm going here. He might defend, hold his hands. Yes, whatever his color. I'm gonna let go this. I'm gonna use this arm, open up, go around, grab the collar. Now from here, grab the pants. Now I'm gonna sit until I take my leg out, lock my feet. Now I'm gonna go to a nasty burn air choke from here. So it's just as an option. Sometimes we waste so much time on the arm they will forget the choke, okay? We're going for the arm, nothing, nothing. Okay, let's get work my variety here. Call it grip, pants. If it doesn't have pants, grab the belt. Sit, lock your feet, belt also work. Or sometimes people go behind the neck and pull, okay? And the very final one for the S mount, I time my sweep, my, 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 my positioning, here. Now, 
a good way is as a drill, I put it in the drill so the student can get most of it. Unbar, show, or I can go for the kimura, tuck my foot under my per the person's back, sit, and now I'm gonna pull him all the way on this side. All the way on this side. And then from here, give up on the kimura trap, grab the head as a seat belt, and I slide move back and have the back position. Which again from the back, you can start with a real neck choke. It's an amazing drill for you to use just to extend the game. From the ass mount, you can avoid ass mount. You can go back to mount. You can go for the armbar choke and the back take from mount if you know how to move it. So those are really good options that I really like it and I like to teach my students and they love it. and I do believe that you guys are gonna love and you're gonna uh, master your mount because mount itself is not just about staying there. It's like how to manage mount with control plus know how to finish. And doing the S mount, I do believe, can get you there much far, okay? So if you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and share with people that know the needs mount uh, work, okay? And, uh, and don't forget to subscribe, of course. And if you like, check it out, my instructionals at the Fanatics. I'm gonna put the link right here. There's a ton of instructionals for you to help you grow your jujitsu, okay? So thank you so much.